Okay, I'm gonna try it like this. When I tried to uh, live stream this, it's not catching my audio. So, basically, I saw some reviews on this deck that I just got where people couldn't get it to 96 kilohertz. And I was like, oh man, that stinks. I, uh, there's no way, like, it's, how can that be possible? And I saw, like, uh, the main issue was a driver issue. So I figured if it's a driver issue, there's got to be a way to get it to work. Because it's not something, like, you need an adapter for to get it, like, something physical to get it to do the 96 hertz. So if it's a driver issue, it's there's got to be a way to do it. So I, I looked around, I couldn't find anything, so I figured I'd make a video for other people that are like me, just can't figure it out, you can't find anything online. There's uh so what I did basically, so you right click sound, or right click your speaker, go to sound. And that should bring you here. Hopefully it doesn't mess up my microphone again, because I can't get the voiceover stuff to work on my stream. So once you're in this window, you're going to go over to playback. You're going to scroll down, find your USB advanced audio device. That's the DAC, because hopefully you have it hooked up through USB. If not, I'm not sure I can help you. I don't know. Right click this and go to property. Now I'm not going to change anything because it's been messing up my sound when I try to do this. But basically, you uncheck 96 here, so none of these are checked. Just if you don't have it, obviously, just uncheck everything. All this, I keep it all unchecked. I still haven't figured out these these ones yet, but I did get the 96 to work. So uncheck all of this stuff. Make sure nothing's checked, and then click the number like right here. You will click on this again. I'm not going to do it on this because I don't want to mess the sound up so you guys can see but you will click the actual numbers where it says 96.0 kilohertz and then click test once you have that it'll highlight blue click test and it should do a sound test hopefully you hear the sound and uh, it'll, uh, you just hit yes it'll ask you if you hear the sound click yes and then once that's done hit apply okay and after you've set up the sample rate for Go over here to advance, click the drop down list, go down to 96 kilohertz, and do the same thing. So you get it set to this, hit test, it should run the test, hopefully it works. It'll ask you to hear a sound, you click yes, and then click apply, and okay, that should be it. So once I did that, I looked down at the DAC and the light had switched from uh, 44 to 96, which it, it took me a while to figure it out, but it's actually very simple. So hopefully it helps somebody else.